ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World Chaos Theory trailer breakdown. Finally, as it just goes past 4am my local time, I can begin working on this trailer breakdown as the teaser trailer for Chaos Theory Season 2 has finally dropped, revealing an all new dinosaur, an intense scene and much more. We have everything for you here in today's video, so make sure you're sticking around by subscribing to the channel and liking the video if you enjoy. From new scenes to new images, we have it all. I can't wait to get into this one, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel as I have stayed up until 4am just to start making this video, and I'll be honest, I probably won't be sleeping until 6am. Oh man. <laughs> Who even needs sleep anyways, right? <laughs> We're aiming for 250,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so all subscriptions would help out so much. But for now, what you've all been waiting for, it's time to go ahead and break down the teaser trailer for Jurassic World Chaos Theory Season 2. Firstly, the teaser trailer was revealed at San Diego Comic Con just a few moments ago, and viewers there also got to see an exclusive first look at Episode 1 of Chaos Theory Season 2. Unfortunately, nothing has surfaced online regarding Episode 1 just yet, but thanks to memes, we do have a little glimpse here that showcases a worker on the boat that's seemingly very scared. Apparently, this episode is depicted as scary and thrilling, so I can't wait to see it for myself. Moving on to the trailer now, we open up to the cargo ship that was last seen in Episode 10 of Chaos Theory Season 1 where the campers seek refuge on to try and relocate to safety. However, safety seems far away as they struggle on treacherous waters. The bashful winds and storm brew in and shifts the boat side to side. We can safely assume that this season only takes place a maximum of two days after leaving from the United States shoreline due to the time of the day and the average time it takes to arrive in West Africa exactly where we know that the campers are due to arrive in Season 2. The very short trailer cuts away from this perspective as it teases that something is going wrong as electrical shortcuts are heard occurring and creaking of doors alert the campers. We see that Darius and Ben were resting together in the same container unit, with a blue tarp in the background hung up. For now, we can only assume that they were awaiting the time to pass by as no one likes being on a boat during a storm. They wake up, alerted by something. Something that also seems to alert the others of Kenji, Sam and Yaz. But we see the shadow of a door open on their faces. Perhaps they split up after an argument and are now coming back together as we see Ben investigating an area. We hear the velociraptor sounds confirming that a Velociraptor has made its way onto the boat. We see a short snippet of one in a container in episode 10 of season 1, so it's most likely the same one. The camera then pans to an ominous hallway on the deck of the boat outside as Darius seems to question what's within it. He gets his answer as a Gallimimus runs through the mist and into vision. Now, a Gallimimus isn't strong enough to break out of a container, and no matter how bad of a storm it is, I highly doubt that it was strong enough to open the containers themselves. So, I can only assume that someone is sabotaging the boat and letting these dinosaurs loose. Why they would do that, it's beyond me. But Darius tries to calm down the dinosaur using the worldwide hand technique that was first made famous by Owen Grady in Jurassic World. Not before being jump scared by a Majungasaurus in the background that lashes out and kills this Gallimimus. Now, the reveal of the Majungasaurus is done in a very similar way to the Tyrannosaurus Rex reveal in another dinosaur movie called 65, starring Adam Driver. The antagonist is unknowingly close to the dinosaur, that's then teased after a flash of lightning reveals it. The Majungasaurus killing the Gallimimus startles Darius as he moves back and covers his mouth. There seems to be a green glow coming from behind him, perhaps a light of some sort that he used to navigate across the area at night. The Majungasaurus chases Darius down on the boat as he slips on the wet surface. 
Then, the Majungasaurus prepares himself to chase again, where the trailer then suddenly cuts to the Chaos Theory logo. Now, it doesn't just end there, however. During the logo reveal, interestingly, we have a snippet of the Lost World soundtrack that's being used here. Why that's the case, I honestly don't know. But it just makes you think a little bit. Is Isla Sauna going to be playing a part in this show? Fans wanted to see it return in Season 4 and Season 5 of Camp Cretaceous, but unfortunately never got it, as it was then replaced with Manticore Pilot. Maybe something regarding Sauna is happening in this season of Chaos Theory, but we do know that it also does take place in West Africa and in a populated area, as revealed in my previous video from earlier today. But it's interesting nonetheless. I want to know why that Lost World theme was playing. And also, confirming more from our previous video, the release date is in fact October 17th, making it release on a Thursday, which is very strange and a different choice indeed. But oh well, there's more to complain about. We still have two and a half months left to wait now, and that's, that's very, very long of a time to wait. But since that is the trailer broken down, what about the synopsis and maybe some more images? Well, the artwork reveals a shot that shows the Majungasaurus chasing down a worker on the dock of the boat. But this is not a scene taken from the show, however. This is just mere artwork. Either way, it is still pretty cool. Another image here reveals Darius hiding behind a fruit basket, with what it seems, as he uses the torchlight on the phone to showcase the Majungasaurus in a better light, perhaps trying to find out how close this dinosaur truly is to him. The Majungasaurus makes its on-screen debut as it was only used as some DNA in the creation of the Indominus Rex, but never actually appeared on screen anywhere. But finally, we now get to see it in all its glory, and it does look a bit, let's say, goofy. This was a very short teaser to say the least. Very short. 35 seconds? Come on now. So there's not actually too much more to cover here until we start to discuss the synopsis. With the Nubular 5 away on a dinosaur-filled cargo ship heading to the parts unknown, their mission to find who is after them sets them on a collision course with the mysterious broker. Unaware that Brooklyn is alive, the ultimate discovery of her whereabouts will call into question everything they thought they knew about each other. That right there is actually a crazy synopsis. It seems to confirm two major things here the fact that we will be meeting the broker, and the fact that they will be meeting Brooklyn. Two things I really hoped that we would see in Season 2. For the longest time now, we have wondered who the broker is, and we suspected that it is most likely Sayuna Santos from Jurassic World Dominion. It just makes loads of sense, and she ticks like 90% of the boxes. So now we're just mere months away from having that theory answered. But also, having them meet up with Brooklyn? It makes me think when, how, and why. I can't wait to see how this will affect the campers going forward. Now, exclusively over on Twitter during the panel at San Diego Comic Con, Scott Creamer had this to say about Season 2. We're going to go on Brooklyn's side of the story to see why she's not telling anyone she's alive, and I'm excited for the folks to see it. So it seems like, during Season 2, we will be getting more of a perception of what Brooklyn saw during Season 1, perhaps. And not only that, but the voice actress, Kirsten Kelly, confirmed that Brooklyn is creating a lot of chaos in Season 2 as well. But yeah, other than that, there's nothing more to cover. We did cover a lot in our previous video, so please go ahead and watch that one for more exclusive details as well. But overall, Season 2 seems dark, exciting, and again, won't be holding back from the deaths. I can't wait to see how it all goes down on October 17th. Anyways, as the teaser drops for Season 2, our excitement levels rise. We may have to wait a lot longer than we anticipated at first for it, but that doesn't mean to be any less excited. We're all Jurassic fans at the end of the day, and we're all ready to see what the next canonical installment brings to the story. With Majungasaurus now confirmed, we have a lot to look forward to, 
So if you're excited, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and liking the video if you enjoyed. Be sure to also comment down what you're most excited about from this trailer alone, but most importantly, make sure you're all staying safe out there, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here, as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.